So if I were to list my favorite genre of video games, it would go racing games, RPGs, fighting, and then first person shooters. So when it comes to games like Call of Duty, they rank up there pretty high on my list of favorite games of all time. I remember playing my first Call of Duty with the sequel. I like the historical aspect of it taking place in World War II. Although I never actually really finished beating the first couple games, they were just fun to go around and shoot people. It really wasn't until Modern Warfare 2 when I really started getting into the franchise and playing online multiplayer. And if that game taught me anything about myself, it is that I sucked. Don't get me wrong though, I loved Modern Warfare 2 and playing the follow-ups which I will get to in future videos, but for how much I loved the franchise, it wasn't until Modern Warfare 3 where I just felt like it was just rinse and repeat, so I stopped picking up the new game every year and I switched over to Battlefield for a long time. It wasn't until I got an Xbox One and decided to get back into the franchise with World War II. World War II, I really enjoyed and decided to pick up the follow-ups once again. And here we are with Call of Duty Modern Warfare, a reboot of the series that takes Captain Price forming a team to stop a terrorist organization from chemical warfare. Now, when the franchise decided to go back to the boots on the ground with World War II, I didn't really feel like the franchise was back on its feet until Modern Warfare came out. This actually feels like a true return to form. Now I'll be real, every Call of Duty has their BS moments, and this one isn't innocent either, but we'll get to that later. So with this release, they brought back the campaign that was missing in Black Ops 4. You are essentially playing a game that makes you feel like you are watching the last scene in Zero Dark Thirty all the time. And I'll tell you what, this campaign was great. I don't think I've finished a Call of Duty campaign since Modern Warfare 3. The story just feels so gritty and real. So when I started the story mode, you can really feel the big differences from this one in Black Ops 4. You feel heavier, your guns look meaner, and you're forced to play more tactically. So when I was playing the game, I asked my friend Zach what difficulty he was playing on. He said he was playing on hard, and while I was playing on normal, I thought to myself, we well, see, I ain't no bitch, so I turned that shit all the way up to realism. <laughs> Worst mistake I ever made. So what realism does, it puts you on the veteran difficulty mode, and it takes away your HUD as well. Now I love the feeling of playing without a HUD because you really feel like you are in the action, but you can only have that off if you are playing in realism, which comes with that veteran difficulty mode. So I decided to keep it on and let myself get killed every 30 seconds. But hey, when you get to those two missions in the game where you feel like you are looking for Osama bin fucking Laden, it is all worth it. So the campaign is very, and I mean very short, it is about four to five hours long at most. But with how they ended the story for this one, I am very excited for the sequel. They have some pretty cool missions where you play flashbacks to tell the story about one of the characters as kids, and then some of them as adults. It is a very fun way to bring some variety into the gameplay. So I was very satisfied with the campaign. And then we move on to the multiplayer where you have three things to choose from. Regular classic multiplayer where you have game modes like Team Deathmatch, Search and Destroy, Domination, Hardpoint, Capture the Flag, and then they have some maps where you can play at night which is pretty cool, but you'll mostly find yourself playing the main modes. And then Infinity Ward will sometimes add new modes in after some updates like Infection or Prop Hunt. Where's Prop Hunt? Infinity Ward, what the fuck is my Prop Hunt? Then you got Spec Ops, which honestly, nobody cares about Spec Ops, so moving on. And last but not least, you have Warzone, which comes with Modern Warfare, but it can also be downloaded separately for free. And I'm not going to lie, I think this might be the Fortnite killer. Not saying that Fortnite is going anywhere, but damn is this battle royale killing it right now. I am not going to be talking too much about Warzone, seeing how that could be its own video. So all I'll say is that I love the aspect that you can bring your guns in from regular multiplayer into this and just mow people down. So let me get into the things that I dislike about this game. First and foremost is the hacker. So that's not the game's fault, that is the community's fault. Like, holy shit, does this game have so many hackers. I think I may have come across a couple hackers, but not enough for it to kill my enjoyment of the game. I really hate it that sometimes you have to question though if a guy that you were killed by was legitimate or he is using an aimbot. On the other hand, I see so many videos of people hacking and honestly, if you hack, you are just a little piece of shit. Why must you ruin everybody else's enjoyment? What, did you get bullied in high school and now you feel like this is your only way to feel powerful is to annoy the ever-living shit out of people? I don't get it. I don't even see how this is fun. You aren't getting these kills legitimately. You just suck. You're not good. You suck. But moving on. So a bunch of things were changed for this entry and things I kind of like and hugely dislike. 
One thing I didn't like at first but kind of grew on me after a while was the dead silence no longer being a regular perk. It is now what it's called a field upgrade, which you can choose to have an ability that you can activate every so often, like an ammo crate, stopping rounds, a recon drone, and then dead silence. The biggest complaint I had with this game when it first launched was that your footsteps were so loud. It felt like you were stomping all over the place and it felt like there was no way to sneak up on your enemy. Eventually, either they fixed the sound because I've probably gotten so used to it at this point with this bullshit or maybe they actually did patch it i really don't know I, i've been so accustomed to it now at this point but i've learned to enjoy dead silence as a park as it makes you feel more strategic on how you use it and when you should use it especially in warzone one thing that took forever to patch was the 725 shotgun. Dear God, did this thing need to patch badly. And I guess the people in Infinity War were just like, nah, fuck that, let's make people sound like a goddamn tank. This thing could be used like a goddamn sniper rifle. It's not so bad anymore, but I still will get the occasional shotgun death. One thing that I thought was great, however, was the ability to really customize your guns. Now, you could always add some character to your guns in the past with some basic attachments and the skins you have, but here you got Gunsmith. You can change so much to your gun here, and there's a lot of give and take with the attachments you add or remove from your gun. So you really have to make your gun fit your play style. So I'll say this, when the beta first came out, I loved it and was really looking forward to the other maps when we can play the real game. But the biggest issue I have with this game is the inability to vote on maps anymore. Like, why did you take this away? I fucking hate playing on Piccadilly. And another issue I have is when you are finishing a game, you are brought to another different lobby. Like, come on, I wanted to get revenge on the guy that was killing me on that last round. Or maybe I thought that the game was so bad, so going into the next game won't be different, but it always is because you won't keep the lobbies the same. God, I hate Piccadilly. Also, what is the deal with the final kill cam? Is it either going to be who killed you last, or is it going to be play of the game? I never know which one it's going to be. I don't know how long play of the game was a thing in Call of Duty, but I have experienced this since World War II, and was so happy when they brought Final Kill Cam back from Modern Warfare. But to just see that it has play of the game also, where some games where play of the game has no business being there. There are also a couple issues with the respawning, but I feel that comes with any online FPS. And if you complain about the respawning in a map like Shipment, you just need to shut the fuck up. With how small this map is and how often people are dying left and right, you are really good to complain about someone spawning behind you. Does it suck? Yeah. But what do you expect out of a map this small? Perfection? This is the same game that if you get knifed in the foot, you die. Give me a break. Gunfight? Really nice addition to the franchise that I really hope is included in more games in the future. You and your partner versus two other people or a 3v3 with random gun classes given to you in very small maps. A very fun mode and I hope it stays in the future. One more game mode that I thought I was very on the fence about is Ground War. It is essentially just Battlefield's conquest mode, like almost to a T. The only thing different here is there's killstreaks added because it's Call of Duty. I am very used to how Battlefield plays, so I don't mind it that it's on Call of Duty, but when you have friends that have only ever played Call of Duty and try to do something like this, they will hate it. But the thing is, I just want Call of Duty to be more like Call of Duty and not like other franchises. Black Ops 4 just felt like it was trying too much to be Overwatch and Modern Warfare feels like it's just trying to be too much like Battlefield. And before I end this video, I just want to mention this last thing. Why the fuck is prestiging gone? You go all the way up to level 155 and then boom, nothing else. You are there until a new season of the Battle Pass comes out and you are brought back down to all the way down to level 55 and start all over again. I love the sense of progression that came with prestiging, losing all of your class and starting all over again. It felt great. There was no incentive to level up anymore. For what? It literally does fucking nothing. The only thing that kind of matters with leveling up is through the battle pass, but that has nothing to do with your normal rank. Get the fuck out of here, man. This is so stupid. Listen, I really like Modern Warfare. I feel like it's been a long time where it's really felt like I went back to playing Modern Warfare 2 again. It may have its bullshit moments like people overusing sliding and corner jumping like a bitch, but I'm very satisfied with this entry of Call of Duty and looking forward to see what Infinity Ward has in store for the follow-up. Guys, my name is Paige Ordonius, also known as Gamelike7. Please subscribe, comment, like, thumbs up, do whatever you guys can to support this channel. Let me know what you guys would like to see next time, and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out.